Hi, I'm Paul Lyons. Um, during the pandemic, I haven't been able to play on my kit as much as I would like. Certainly there is no gigs to play. Virtual gigs are not the same. I thought I'd record this uh, drum video doing what I do at home just to keep myself uh, from going crazy. Uh, I usually just drum on my knees um, just to kind of if I'm watching something and I want to watch it, but I'm a little bored, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing now, which is using traditional grip like this, and I'm doing like paradiddles on my legs. And uh, it doesn't feel too bad, you know, you get used to the, the pain. It's not really a pain, it's just a discomfort. Um, and then if I really want to get serious about my uh, practicing, I use the drum pad, which is, uses a very hard rubber had this pad forever since I was a teenager. It's very big. Um, and uh, I sit it comfortably on my lap like I'm doing now. Usually like it a little lower. Um, it's not exactly my ideal height. And I don't usually play this traditional grip. I usually play match grip, which is known as this. But um, I really miss playing uh, gigs and playing with other people. So this is what I've been doing in the meantime. Um, uh, while I'm watching stuff, or if I'm got to stuck with a commercial or something, no offense to commercials, um, I find myself sitting there uh, doing rudiments, which is basically, uh, in this case, paradiddles. Rudiments are like, you know, this is a single stroke roll, and this is a double stroke roll, because you're one, two, I don't need to go into the education of what rudiments are, but that's kind of what they are. This is like uh, double, uh, this is a rough. Um, yeah, <laughs> needs to say I'm not a great drum teacher. But rudiments are basically kind of technical uh, um, uh, things you can do just to practice your playing and keep your chops up, uh, your technique up. And so uh, I like to do paradiddles a lot. I've yet to really figure out how to best to utilize them when I'm playing on the drum kit, but um, they're great for practicing, just keeping up you know, my chops, but also giving me ideas and stuff so when I approach the kit, I can maybe utilize some of it. So, um, so I might start uh, match or traditional grip. Another thing, I can't, I don't know, I try traditional on a drum kit, it doesn't seem to, I don't know, it feels weird, but it feels totally normal doing it um, on this, uh, this drum pad at home. But uh, I kind of grew up doing match grip, which is this. Um, and this is a little awkward for me because uh, I guess I'm used to playing like this with the hi-hats here and snare pad a little lower, but this is what I usually do in my practice routine. I thought I'd share it with you. Um, maybe I'll talk it through. Uh, I might do uh, to warm up. I like to practice my eighth notes on my uh, both hands at the same time. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are... I guess quarter, these are eighths or quarters. I'm not very good in the technical stuff, so forgive me. But um, I like to practice both, um, making sure my left hand gets the action. Because a lot of times, if you're a right-handed drummer, you favor your right hand. Left hand doesn't get utilized as much. Vice versa, if you're a lefty. But I like to utilize my left hand, so I make sure that if I'm doing something like this, which is just uh, like these quarter notes, I guess. Um, I'm utilizing both. It's also great if you want to play Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin, where John Bonham, uh, he does kind of a um, four beats to the measure using quarter notes, four to the floor, uh, doing this, you know, with both hands. It's not this, which is what most drummers do. Or if you're Charlie Watch, you do this. Um, so... If you think of any song that you've ever had, uh, drum beats and stuff, it's been, you know, uh, I don't know. Hit me, baby, one more time. I don't know what makes me think of Britney Spears. But anyway, um, you get the idea. Any song you can think of, song everybody knows, you know, it's it's got a beat to it. Um, oh, beautiful for gracious us. Okay, that didn't work out. But anyway, um... So this is what I do in my routine. So I might start out 
just some basic paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Um, I've done that so many times that my, I've got you know muscle memory so the hands remember what to do. I try to vary my speed. I'm not working as a metronome because remember we're human beings, folks. We're not machines. All you pro tools out there. Um, so. You know, I'll start with just like the wrist. Remember, the drumming is not hands like that. Um, maybe animal from the Muppets, um, but uh, it's wrists. So I might start with just wrists, and then eventually, when you're going really fast, you, you loosen up on the wrists, and you're just using your fingers um, as opposed to just wrists. Um, that's when you develop kind of a faster technique. But I start out with something slow. I know I've watched videos where drummers, uh, uh, they can do fast because they go, they kind of do what they do with the press roll. I'm not very articulate, uh, explaining this, but anyway, so then I might try to work on a double paradiddle, which I love doing, which is, you know, instead of right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, left it's right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. So then it has a certain musical quality to it. Of course, the tendency is to go immediately fast to it, regardless of meter. And really, I should be going at a steady pace. I've got to concentrate a little, make sure my eyes are closed. This is a decent pace for a double paradiddle. My hands are like, no, we want to go faster. Oh, that broke into a single paradiddle uh, by default. But Double paradiddle is a good, you know, because I feel like it. What's his name from Smashing Pumpkins? Jimmy Chamberlain, great drummer. He does a song called, uh, I think it's called America or Tarantula. Maybe the album is called Tarantula, but he does a double paradiddle as the, um, the beat to the song. You know, so it starts like, you know. Then I might do um, four stroke rolls. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Not perfect. Okay, so again, you the faster you go, the more you gotta loosen up your hand and play with just Fingers as opposed to the wrists, because you're not going, eh, 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 eh. you're going, you're going, uh, well, you get the idea. Then maybe a three, so this is a four. And this is a three, uh, three stroke, uh, double roll, quadruple roll, I don't know, this is three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The key is to play all this with the metronome so you can do it in time. Drummers, you know, they, they keep the time as well. Um, but I like to mix up the time. Uh, I think as I've read things push and pull. Uh, so anyway, it's kind of what I find myself doing, see what fits, what my hands feel like doing. Do a little bit of this. Concentrate. 
because uh, you know drumming, particularly if you're a drummer, is not about the sound of the tom toms or the snare. That is the uh, the end result. That's the um, the effect. You know, drumming is a uh, feeling you have to create the rhythm, regardless of the tone, the tone of the sound. I keep you know I, I keep wanting to play a paradiddle. fast. So anyway, just something fun that I've been doing on lockdown. Just to uh, keep me going because I hope, I don't know, maybe by the fall or by uh, early next year, vaccinations and people will be ready to go to live shows again. how fun it is to play you know I'm not getting the sound again of the tom-toms and the snare and the cymbals and all that but particularly if you're a drummer you don't have to I mean you, if you can that's great but even if you can just play on anywhere play on your knees you know like I'm often doing sometimes I'm better on my knees than I am on the drum pad or play on my couch Well, anyway, um, new at doing this, so hopefully this is something that people would want to see, and if not, well, there's always the delete button, so thank you for your time and your patience. Maybe I'll make another one of these, or maybe I won't. I don't know, maybe I should do a different angle, no idea, but as long as it keeps me playing, can't complain. Thank you very much.